Hey guys, welcome to another Two Minute Tech with Peripheral Gaming. My name is Ethan, and today I'm gonna to show you how to install this SATA SSD in this gaming PC. The process is the same regardless of the PC you have, or at least very similar, but we're gonna be using a Nova for today's example. To start, we are going to loosen the thumb screws to remove the side panels, giving us access to the cables and motherboard. Next, pull on the bottom of the front panel to pop it off, exposing the two blue drive sleds behind it. Align the screw holes on the SSD with the holes on the drive sled, orienting the ports toward the back. Since SSDs are so light, only two screws mounted diagonally are required. The screws needed are the same ones used to mount motherboards in a PC case. This is what it should look like. In the bottom of your case, there should be a bunch of extra power cables. Find one with a connector that has a narrow L-shaped slot. This is a SATA power cable. Pass the SATA power cable through the back of the frame that holds the blue drive sleds, leaving enough slack to easily plug it into the SSD. Moving around to the front, find the smaller L-shaped SATA data ports, typically located on the right side of the motherboard. Correctly orient the SATA data connector using the L-shaped key. If the drive being installed has your operating system on it, use port zero. If you are simply adding additional storage, use any other open SATA port. Once it's plugged in, pass the cable through the nearest opening. Returning to the back of the case, route the data cable through the side of the drive cage, once again leaving some slack. When plugging in your power and data connectors, the L side of each connector should point towards the center. Many data cable connectors have a locking mechanism that allows them to click into place. SATA power connectors stay in place using friction, so make sure it is fully seated before moving on. With the SSD plugged in, align the drive sled with the grooves on the drive cage and slide it into place. Before reattaching the side panels, make sure all cables are neatly tucked away. Then, carefully align the front panel and pop it into place. Finally, reattach the side panels and tighten the thumb screws. With your SATA SSD installed, the last thing to do is hook the PC up, power it on, and the drive should automatically be recognized. If you'd like to learn more about storage options for your PC, check out our video linked in the description below comparing SATA SSDs and M.2 NVMEs. This has been Two Minute Tech. Thank you for watching.